In recent years, we've seen a lot of debate at a political level about how to define Islamophobia, what exactly it is. But what I think is more important is thinking about what Islamophobia does, how it works, and therefore how we can resist it. And when we take that closer look, we look at what it justifies and what it enables, we see that Islamophobia is actually just one strategy within a colonial world system that allows processes of capitalist extraction, processes of brutalization, racialization, and coercion that governments can really use to whatever ends they want to occur. And for that reason, it matters more that we think about how to come together in solidarity to resist those processes, regardless of how we want to define the specifics. You can find out more about this in my new book, Tangled in Terror, Uprooting Islamophobia, which is out now with Pluto Press.